idea for this come from? It's a, it's a novel little idea, if you'll it, pardon the pun. It, it, nice pun. It, it was sort of a practical joke that's kind of got a little out of hand. Rob and Santo and I love travel, and we've done a fair bit over the years, but you always meet travel Nazis out there. Where, wherever you've been, they've been there before you. <laughs> and the, it was so much better when they were there. And we thought the only way to sort of gazump them was to create a country that didn't exist and write a travel guide about it. Hence, the very fine country, the Principality of Mulvania. So, where exactly is Mulvania then? Well, we're a little hazy about the precise <laughs> location. We chose Eastern uh, Europe because I don't think even people who live in Eastern Europe know kind of who their neighbours are on a given day. And it's sort of it, north of Bulgaria and downwind of Chernobyl is kind of where we placed it on the map. Gives you a general idea. Is it one of those things that when you come up with this idea, do you just think it's just it's just too out there mm. to even attempt? Yes. Yes naturally and then they're often the most fun ideas and we, we just kind of ran with it we read a lot of uh, travel guides because travel guide it's almost the biggest section if you walk into a bookshop yeah yeah it's it's you know gardening and and cooking and there's travel is just monstrous and and people these days they go overseas and they just stay glued to guides it's like these literary life rafts they carry around with them and if i don't know if you've been overseas but uh they won't even look up you go look the eiffel tower's on fire and they go no it's on page 121 i'm sure <laughs> i'm sure it's here and they will not michelin lonely planets from as people just cling to them so we figured we'll just create one and, and just sneak it into the shops and we send a few out to people i think hopefully katrina roundtree's got hers and she's on her way <laughs> with the getaway crew to mulvania as we speak so tell us a little bit about the country because obviously you've had to create it yourself from scratch mm, absolutely it's a beautiful place it's a little low lower lying than you might prefer the average swamp to be but it's uh, it's very very scenic yes and uh, its capital is Luttenblag. Uh, famous for its zoo, it's got one of the largest zoos in Eastern Europe, uh, over 10,000 animals, birds, reptiles, all in the one cage, which is, uh, <laughs> makes feeding easy and getting around and seeing them. So some beautiful sites, one of the world's oldest nuclear reactors is yes. in Mulvania, yes. still, still operating, which is uh, good. Do they have a national anthem? They do, Did they you have do. to go that far in the creative process? We did, process? absolutely. It's sung to the tune of What a Feeling from Flashdance, which... <laughs> The lyrics that Mulvania is a very difficult language to speak. In fact, in Mulvanian Wheel of Fortune, they need three women to turn the letters on the board. <laughs> it's a lot of V's and J's. And in fact, little little uh, scoop for you here, Rover. Apparently, Cosima from uh, Australian Idol, it was the Mulvanian national anthem she was attempting when her throat oh, went. Because it does, it contains. <laughs> always, that's always, that'll catch you out every single you'll, time. You'll read the details, a new idea on that. <laughs> When you write a book like this, where are you hoping it will be displayed in the bookstores? We'd, we'd love it in the travel section. We really would love someone, to, one of these sort of travel Nazis, to walk in and go, yeah, I've been to Mulvania. Uh, <laughs> unfortunately, it keeps getting put over in the humour section. So if you are in a bookshop any time between now and Christmas, please shift it back on to the <laughs> travel section. Do you think there is a good chance that someone would... Because I would think so. If you put it there, that someone... You Absolutely. know, A lot of people would probably plan their holidays from just going in and looking at the guys. Exactly. And a lot of people have no intention of ever taking holidays. They just read travel sections and watch travel shows and that's that's fine um, and so we just thought well we'll contribute to the genre and tell us a little bit about uh, the gentleman on the cover because a lot of people might recognize that yes. face maybe not the teeth but well, definitely the face you, you may think I'm joking that is in fact Santo Chilaro uh, it's Santo Chilaro senior it's uh -huh. not it's Santo's grandfather Nonna who is 97 and I'd sent a cheerio to except he's probably watching SBS as we speak so <laughs> it's kind of pointless but that is that is Nonna who posed for us in the yes, slightly fake teeth now, does, he, does he know when he's asked to do this, what it is he's taking part in? We've been we've been using and abusing Nono Chilaro for about 30 years now. Well, remember, because I recognise he used to do a lot of uh, work on the late he show. Did. He did. We, we, we'd bus him in and he'd often pour on Nono. He'd, he'd have very little idea. He was a little put out when he saw the finished product with Mulvania because he said to Santo, you made me wear those, you know, horrible teeth. <laughs> and as Santo pointed out to his grandfather, you don't have any teeth. So <laughs> it arguably was a, was a mild improvement. But he's been, he's been I think uh, Nono Chilaro and Bud Tingwell have probably been in the most uh, commonly used people in all our projects. I think so. Years. Now, um, the, the, the panel, uh, finished for the year. We are already. Uh, and uh, all plans for next year. I mean, there's all this talk just simply because you guys finish a couple of months before everyone else and True. everyone starts hitting the panic button as to what's happening oh, with you guys. Have they? No, no, no. We, we, we rock on. In fact, we're planning a little something for Christmas. Oh, yes, I've heard. Mm. Yes. It's, so, it's sort of kind of a very panel Christmas, we're sort of thinking, something along those lines. So we, we might do something special for Christmas, uh, uh, read the panel, but it's just it's a show we continue to enjoy and get away with. So so it's a nice combination. If it is going to be a Christmas special, you know there has to be reminiscing. I oh, remember yes, the time absolutely. when. Absolutely. <laughs> and it'll all go foggy and we'll have tinsel and fake snow and may even drag you in for it. So it'll, it'll be a wonderful Well, event. why not? And uh, the uh, book, Mulvania, A Land Untouched by Mystery, it's uh, a dentistry, sorry, is uh, out uh, in bookstores now. And if it's not in the travel section, make sure you put it there, ladies and gentlemen. Please thank Tom Gleisner. <laughs>